What's good guys? Welcome to the video. It's your boy Assassin and today I learned how to bunny hop on console. Now um I want to start off by saying this is super easy to do. Anybody could do this literally. However, and this is a big however, if you actually want to incorporate this into your playstyle, into your gameplay, you might have to make some sacrifices. Now, in my case, I had to make huge sacrifices to get this to work for me. Like you can see in this clip, you can see how I'm doing it and it looks really nice. It looks so awesome. I'm surprised console lets you do this. I did not. I mean, I knew it existed, but I never knew you could do it this good on console. However, I did have to make some sacrifices in my settings to get it to look like this. Um, this not this might not be the case for you or for some people, but it was the case for me. I had to change all of my like most of my settings and huge settings. These are not like minor changes. These are huge settings, but I'll get into more detail in a couple seconds. I just wanted to say that before we get into the video. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments if you learned how to do this and let's get straight into it. All right, so getting into the settings that you would need for the bunny hop, um, you will need to have your crouch on hold. I don't, I never played on hold before, so this is actually a sacrifice I had to make. It doesn't work if you try it on toggle, so I had to play on hold and I had to get used to it. And that's something, one of the settings that I had to change and make a sacrifice with. Another one was the preset, the actual preset. You don't have to do this, but I had to because I played on default. I'm a claw player, so it just works for me. And um, I was going to settle on ninja just because of the jump and crouch, but I did not like the preset, the rest of the changes. So I had to make my own preset. This is something you don't have to do, but if you really want to incorporate this movement technique, then you could uh, mess around. You might be fine already how you are. Just keep that in mind, but I had to do this. You can see on the screen, it's a very weird preset. I'm still trying to get used to it. So I don't know if I'm going to use this technique all the time. So with that being said, guys, let's get straight into the actual tutorial. Let's explore this way. All right. So to Come actually on. do the bunny hop is super easy. All you got to do is slide jump. And when your character is about to hit the floor, you jump. Try not to spam the jump button because it will not work the way you want it to. So just take your time, practice the timing and you should be fine. It's super easy, super easy to do it in a straight line. However, if you want to do the bunny hop and move to the left or right, this is when you might have to make a sacrifice. You will see how difficult it is if you play on a certain preset, okay? So if it works for you, then there you go. You got it down. That's all you got to do. And you you just got to keep practicing it. That way you could get it down better. However, if you don't get it down, this is when you might actually have to make a sacrifice in your preset. And that's what I did because it doesn't work for me if I don't have this preset. So this is something you want to take into account. Think about it. Is it worth it? If you want to do it, then you have to make some sacrifices. So it's all up to you. It's your decision. You decide if this works for you and if you want to continue using this. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helps you learn how to do this. Remember, if it is hard for you, just keep practicing it and ask yourself if it is something you want to do. Because if it makes you have to change your settings and you feel like it might make you a, a worse player, then um, don't do it. I mean, I, I like it. It looks awesome. I love doing it. It's very satisfying. But it's so hard because I have to get used to a whole new preset now. I got to get used to the, the hold to crouch. It, it's just a lot you got to process. So take your time, practice it a lot if you really want to do it. And um, let me know in the comments if you found it easy for yourself. It is easy, but it is a little difficult if you want to, if you have to change your whole settings around. Okay, so let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave you guys with this gameplay just to make it a little more entertaining for you guys. This is my first ever gameplay using the new settings and the bunny hop a little bit. So... Hopefully you, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments if you found the video helpful and stay easy. Oh, oh shit, maybe I'm not. Get, get this kid. Another one, another one. I'm a fucking one. 
They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Drone, 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 drone. Nice. Bandage tree, I think. Another squad, another squad. Throw an R-Star. Just giving my shield a reach. What, crack somebody? Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm scratching my back. I'm scratching my back. I think... That's one. Reloading. Enemy taken out. Yeah, Horizon already at the top. Sniper, 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 Kraber, Kraber. Maybe. One shot. Well, not one shot. One tap. 70 health. I jumped on you. What a portal, what a portal, what a portal. Was that both squads, literally? Nah, I remember I told you. I heard shots over here in this direction. Looks like they got a rat. But I don't know how to pack. If anything, he might have ran away all the way around. You know what I mean? Maybe. That's all I would have seen. That was unnecessarily long. Yeah, but he was uh, solo. He was trying to get third party because we were coming for that ass.